So far in this project, I've fallen victim to selection bias in that I'm only talking about events um, like the Germany conference or things like that, which happen very rarely, but giving a lot of attention to them. So it makes it seem like that kind of thing happens all the time, which isn't what this project's about. So this past week, I've had three hours of this theory lectures in the Dennis Wilkinson building, three hours of this atmospheric physics lectures in the atmospheric physics building, and an awful lot of time here in the college library, where I've actually worked exclusively this week. Um, a lot of the time I prefer to mix up where I work, and I know that I can, but I don't know why, but at the moment I just really like working in the college library, as much as it's possible to like working in the college library. Uh, this week, the work that I've been doing has been uh, for theoretical physics. We've been looking at using functional calculus in, in quantum mechanics, and the link between quantum mechanics in that formulation and statistical mechanics. Um, it's basically a lot of stuff that Richard Feynman did. Uh, we haven't got into his QED type stuff yet, but it's, it's that formulation of quantum mechanics. Uh, and what I've been doing in atmospheric physics is scattering in the atmosphere. So uh, looking at things like Rayleigh scattering, my scattering, that kind of thing. Actually, after the lecture this week, um, I was chatting to the lecturer about geoengineering. and He's involved in this project which um, proposes to cool the planet, so to reverse anthropogenic climate change, uh, by injecting aerosols into the stratosphere. The idea being that you're reflecting light from the Earth so that the Earth is radiating more energy than actually reaches the planet. Um, so the planet starts to cool. But that has lots of ramifications and um, he actually, the great thing about that was that he is involved in this project then immediately after the lecture sent us all the paper that he was talking about. Said, oh, if you're interested, have a look at this, which I've printed out and I'll read later. In addition to the work, I've been spending quite a lot of time in the JCR. So a lot of time just sat around talking to friends. Uh, this term still hasn't really got going. I've got two sets of deadlines uh, this coming Friday, which means that now works properly. So I had two weeks of, of term time where things were just kind of getting started, and it was really nice just to spend that time. Not just to spend that time, but to be able to spend that time in the JCR, talking to friends, watching TV, spending time in the bar. So on a daily basis, what I've been doing is, I reach for my notepad because I've forgotten. On Monday, I had a rehearsal for my wind band. So I missed the one last week because I was in Germany, but every Monday I uh, meet with a bunch of other musicians in St. John's College Chapel, and we play wind band music. So I play saxophone, uh, and this term we're doing uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, we're doing something by Samson from Samson and Delilah, the Bacchanal, um, we're doing something by Rimsey Korsakoff, uh, we're doing some Christmas pieces later in the term. And the idea is we're, we're kind of unique in the university in that we're a, um, a symphonic wind band, so you know, playing orchestral pieces that doesn't audition and doesn't take itself too seriously. So it's basically for people who are really good at their instruments, and me, uh, but don't like taking things that seriously uh, and don't um, want to commit to loads and loads of rehearsals. So we rehearse for two hours a week, every week up until the concert. And then we, we put it on and we raise a couple of hundred pounds and then that gets reinvested back into the band. We can buy more music, more music stands, lots of biscuits. That's mostly what we spend it on. Uh, on Tuesday I had my meditation class. Uh, at, I should point out that the meditation class happens at Keeble College, which isn't known as being one of the prettier Oxford colleges, but it looks like this, this and this, so <laughs> it's a relative scale. After that then I had formal hall, so literally went straight from over to meditation, put on my gown, went, went on to the dining hall. Um, I tried to take footage of each course, but uh, I failed because this was my starter, which was a very nice fruit salad. And then we had nut roast, and this kind of very crumbly thing, which was very nice. Um, this was just a bunch of fourth years, so a bunch of people uh, like physicists, mathematicians, earth sciences, that kind of stuff, who all got together uh, and just decided to go for formal hall. It's really nice. It's, it's just over a fiver. It's what, six, 650 I think, for uh, three courses and table service. So it's, it's really good value and it's just a nice evening. On Wednesday we had the pub quiz in the bar. Uh, I might have mentioned this before, if not we have the best bar in the university. We've actually been, we, we, you know, we were elected by one of the student newspapers as like the best college bar in the university. Um, and the reason that we're the best is because we are completely student run. We decide what we put on tap, how much we charge for it. So a, pa a pint is like £1.60 uh, and uh, like I come from around Bath and there's a brewery by Bath which makes a really nice uh, beer. So I asked the bar if we could get it in. So we got a couple of kegs and now we, now we sell that and it's like one of people's favourite bitters in the bar. So that's really nice. But anyway, we had, the bar, we had the pub quiz, which of course my team won. 
Uh, but then after that, um, it, it, it was weird. Uh, a girl, I live in an accommodation block by one of the rivers in Oxford, and this girl fell in that night. And so I had, well, a bunch of people from Paradise Street had to go and fish her out. Um, which, if you're watching this, by the way, I really hope you're okay. You looked a bit like a, like a drowned rat last time I saw you, but I hope you're all right. On Thursday, we had the Physics Society talk. Now, I didn't get any footage last time around. This time, we had a talk by uh, Yvette Fuentes, who is from, I can't remember which university, but she basically um, works in relativistic quantum information. So, um, I'll include a link to a Wikipedia article about this in the description, but quantum information theory has to do with this concept of entanglement. And it was a really interesting talk, actually. Um, not that many people were there, but we had a good Q&A session afterwards, and then there were nibbles like we do every week. Next week's talk looks really interesting. It's, uh, the title is, Does Time Exist? So I'll report back on that one. That should be a really interesting talk. Friday, I don't have any footage for Friday, so don't get your hopes up. A um, bunch of guys I know went to the gym, and then we went to GBK, Good Burger Kitchen, for dinner after that. We had a really nice evening. Um, it was a more relaxed day on Friday, actually. Uh, and then on Saturday, we had the bop. So I spent a lot of the afternoon trying to think of a costume and failing. So each bop is normally themed. So in the past, we've had um, SPC, so like kind of something that begins with S, P, or C. We've had the Nintendo bop, loads of people dressed in as, as Pokemon. Um, we had... oh, slimy. Um, what else have we had? We have, you know, like Christmas themed bop stuff. Uh, this week was Best of British, so I wanted to come as an RAF fighter pilot. Can't find a costume anywhere in Oxford, so I just rocked off in my tuxedo and came as James Bond, which I really should have taken off before I went to the club afterwards, because I feel like I've lost weight just being there in that tux. And then today, Sunday, uh, I went to the gym in the morning, and then my parents came up for a visit, uh, so I was with them for a couple of hours, came back, started filming this for you lovely people. So yeah, I, I hope that this is a bit more representative of the past week, because this project so far hasn't necessarily been terribly representative. Um, and if there's anything you'd like me to talk about more or talk about less, please let me know, because this is ultimately uh, an access experiment. Um, and traditional blogging in a sense, but access is the, the overall priority here. So if there's anything you'd like to uh, know, like for me to talk about, then please do leave a message in the comments, or send me a private message, whatever. Um, yeah, this week's been a bit more normal. This is, this is what a normal week kind of looks like, except normally there's a bit more work than this. So maybe next week I'll do a day, uh, um, a day in the life type video. I will see how it goes, because that's going to be quite a hassle, carrying the camera around everywhere. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good time watching this, and uh, I will see you next week.